My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. First of all, we humbly request you to subscribe to our channel and share the link with others. Give us your mass intentions and love offerings for the upkeep of our channel. We thank all our benefactors who assist us in this ministry. However, you are welcome for the same. Today we are going to pray for people who are suffering from various type of cancers. We ask our dear Lord to heal them, to touch them, to be with them, to accompany them in their life, especially those who are undergoing terrible pain. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist with all these patients in the mind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 5 to 12. The one who sanctifies and the ones who are sanctified are of the same stock. God did not appoint angels to be rulers of the world to come, and that world is what we are talking about. Somewhere there is a passage 
that shows us this it runs what is man that you should spare a thought for him the son of man that you should care for him for a short while you made him lower than the angels you crowned him with glory and splendor you have put him in command of everything well then if he has put him in command of everything he has left nothing which is not under his command at present it is true we are not able to see that everything has been put under his command but we do see in jesus one who was for a short while made lower than the angels and is now crowned with glory and splendor because he submitted to death by god's grace he had to experience death for all mankind as it was his purpose to bring a great many of his sons into glory it was appropriate that god for whom everything exists and through whom everything exists should make perfect through suffering the leader would take them to their salvation for the one who sanctifies and the ones who are sanctified are of the same stock that is why he openly calls them brothers in the text i shall announce your name to my brothers praise you in full assembly the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response shall be you gave your son power over the works of your hand your response you gave your son power over the works of your hand how great is your name o lord our god through all the earth what is man that you should keep him in mind mortal man that you care for him your response you gave your son power over the works of your hand yet you have made him little less than a god with glory and honor you crowned him give him power over the works of your hand put all things under his feet your response you gave your son power over the works of your hand all of them sheep and cattle yes even the savage beasts birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters your response you gave your son power over the works of your hand gospel acclamation hallelujah hallelujah accept and submit to the word which has been planted in you and can save your souls hallelujah the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you o god chapter 1 verses 21 to 28 jesus and his disciples went as far as capernaum and as soon as the sabbath came he went to the synagogue and began to teach and his teaching made a deep impression on them because unlike the scribes he taught them with authority in their synagogue just then there was a man possessed by an unclean spirit and it shouted what do you want with us jesus of nazareth have you come to destroy us i know who you are the holy one of god but jesus said sharply be quiet come out of him and the unclean spirit threw the man into convulsions and with a loud cry went out of him the people were so astonished that they started asking each other what it all meant 
Here is a teaching that is new, they said, and with authority behind it. He gives orders even to unclean spirits, and they obey him. And his reputation rapidly spread everywhere through all the surrounding Galilean countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, there was a man named Thomas who had two children. Both were sons. And as they grew up, they began to be growing with different characters. One day, Thomas thought to himself, I have given everything to my children. I have given them proper education in the best of international schools in the city. I have provided them with the best of food, shelter, and the best of things they needed for their schooling and even for their sports and games. Whatever he found new in the world of games, in the stores, he bought it for them. He put them for the best of tuition classes. And at the end, one of the students, his son, gets a complaint from the teacher that he is growing with drugs and other addictions as a student. His father was surprised. Thomas was surprised. How come the son grew up like this? He went to the principal and began to discuss. And the principal asked him, Do you drink? Do you have any addictions? Do you take drugs? And he put his head down. Yes, the principal said. You gave everything to your son, whatever you found the best in this world. But you failed to give him what you really possess and what you have. You failed to give him the real essence of your life. You gave him all the addictions that you have, which he conceived without your knowledge. You lost your authority as a father of the house. My dear brothers and sisters, Thomas lost his full authority over his children because he didn't have any authority within himself. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 21 to 28, we see about the authority of Jesus, who preaches to the people with impressions, who brings change in the lives of the people, who gives them the word of God, that refreshes, which heals, unlike the scribes and the Pharisees, who do not have the actual authority in them. Jesus, as soon as he begins to preach, the hearts and minds of the people were moved with love for God and for one another. Even the unclean spirit that possessed a boy, a young man, 
begins to utter words you jesus of nazareth what do you want from me have you come to destroy us and jesus gets this satan away from this boy people were all astonished to see jesus doing this and wonder what is happening and they knew that this person of jesus is doing it with authority given to him by god the authority that he lived in his life the authority that he executed with love care affinity to heal the world and this he carries out even unto dying for us on the cross to save all of us so my dear friends christianity is this to proclaim the word with authority means to first possess it in our own hearts in our own lives and then get into the world proclaiming it with authority authority that god has given to us which will live in our day to day lives which people can see in us and say this man lives by jesus and jesus lives in him and therefore this word of god comes to us directly from god so my dear friends let us pause for some time and ask for god's grace to live with authority that god himself has given to us by living it in our day to day lives Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you. We pray that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ. Our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man. and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and pass tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation may our voices we pray join with this in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took prayer and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray to Mary, our Mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Let us thank our dear Mother for accompanying us in our life journey. Let us pray at this time for those who are sick in our families and in those places where COVID is prominent. We ask our dear Lord to take away this virus from this world and to guard and protect each one of us. We pray for all those who are suffering due to various other illnesses. Praying for those in the hospitals. Praying for those on the deathbed. At this time, let us pray for our intentions, especially those who are not having jobs. Those who are giving interviews for jobs. Those children who are appearing for exams those who are preparing for the exams, and let us pray for all our families that there may be peace, joy, and happiness dwelling in us. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you a very joyful day with your family and friends. to the Lord for He is good. Who give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Who give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Yes, eternal is His love. I will sing to my God never ceasing. All my life I will tell of His wonders. Is the maker of all earth and heaven, of the ocean, the seas, and all the world. Who give thanks to the Lord for He is good? Who give thanks to the Lord for He is good? Who give thanks to the Lord for He is good? Yes, eternal is His love.